Hey folks, Robert with Currency Waves. Gonna look at some charts here. Um, you'll notice as we go through here, I'm kind of stepping away from the currency of the uh, Elliott wave and looking more at just price action, and you'll kind of see what I'm. Maybe you might have seen some of it on Twitter already, but uh, you'll kind of see what I'm looking at here as we go through. Uh, starting with the Aussie yen. You know, really nothing going on here but consolidation for the last, since March, really. Um, stuck between 84.50 and 80.50, bouncing off the 50% retrace of this leg up. Usually in consolidations like this, it's a continuation pattern. And you can kind of see the uh, consolidation here. So a break of 80.50, I'd be looking down towards uh, 74.80, which would be two equal legs of this. So yeah, one, two, three here, kind of a consolidation, and then uh, another leg down. Like I say, maybe into that 74.80, 76.87, if we look at the four hour. Um, and what I'm looking at here mostly is just everything swings in three waves. Yes, there's five waves. There's probably one, two, three, four, five waves here. But for the most part, you'll see everything is just one, two, three. You got one, two, three. You got somewhere in here, you got three. You got one, two, three here. So you got one up, you got three back down here. So I would expect this is going to go up to this 83 area, 83.20 before lower back down to the low of that range again at 80.50 um, Aussie dollar looking at the weekly again it just continues to bounce off two equal legs we got one two three and then within that one two three again and we continue to bounce off that 7320 and then the, I've got a channel connecting these two highs with this low that we're, it's bouncing off as well. Um, looking at daily, I have this three dive on here for a, for a Gartley pattern. It's just the uh, the three dive. The three dive you have you have three lows with divergence on each one. Same thing as an ending diagonal in LA wave. So. If we if that does play out, you know it's targeting 72. 72 would be a 123 extension of this leg here, and I think if it's going to happen, it's going to be quick. It's going to come down. It's going to hit that, and it's going to bounce right off. And we're going to have another nice long wick here. So, like I said, I think we're going to see that 72. If we break back above 74.80, above these highs here, then this this could be it. It could be done. And uh, I'll be looking higher towards 80s, 84. Short term down on the hourly again. You know, 1, 2, three and then one two three you got one two three and then in, within that you've got one two three so right now we've got one down we got one up i think we're going to see a little pullback another high move higher up into the 7428 and then an equal leg down i've got this measuring the equal leg here so we could see 73 Again, it's just creating a new low there. And maybe that's all we get. I mean, it doesn't have to hit that 72. It could just create a new low here. And then bounce from there. Here, Aussie. Yeah, just going nowhere again. Pretty much with the rest of the market since June. It's just been sideways consolidation. And usually... Sideways consolidation is a continuation pattern, so if it breaks above uh, this 59 here, then I'd be looking up towards 61. Break below, I'd be looking for 55 before higher again. Again, this would be leg one, 
this pull back down to here would be leg two and then I'd be looking for an equal leg up for the third leg just like here we got one two three Euro pound kind of the same story I'm looking up towards 89 20 ish here this would be the first leg looking for the second leg then I'll be looking for equal legs down as a target Euro pound has just been ugly there's just the only you know I do have a target down here of 83 and the support back in here but where it's gonna start from I, I'm kinda hoping this is the start of it Euro yen Again, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So, um, we got one, two, three down. We got one, two, three up. I think it's going to start coming down. We're going to see 120 here with uh, a retrace up towards 31, 30, 50 to 31. And then I'll be looking for equal legs down for as a target and uh, actually 120 would be a target here on the bigger on the daily but a shorter term if we go with one two three and then we'll probably see three more up and then we'll go again from there three more down one two three one two three Euro, I have them labeled out a little better, just so you can, gives you a better idea of what I'm looking at on this four-hour chart. <coughs> Excuse me. So from this low, we've got one, two, three legs up, and within that we've got one, two, three, and then this we got three down and you can kind of see three within that one and you got three within this one and you got one up three back and now I'm looking for another leg up to 1857 before lower and then that would be one two three pound IZ I think we have uh, we have one leg down. We got one leg up. We got a sideways leg. I'm looking for one more leg up, and then I'll be looking for a leg down for a one, two, three. So right now, if we hold about seventy-five, sixty-seven, I think we're going to see eighty-one, fifty, and that I'd be looking to short eighty, fifty, which would be. Throw a fib on there quick. Up towards that, just above the 61% retrace. So, and I think that would be a good short against the uh, the high. Up of 85, looking for that other leg down. Found yet, I'm also labeled out here on the daily, but you got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and you can get in one, two, three within that first leg. One, two, three, one. <coughs> Excuse me. Get a swig of water. So, probably a little bit lower here, and then I'd be looking for three back. Short, I guess, is 49.32 for target down of 41.50. Um, I don't think I had anything else on that one. Kind of the same with the pound. I think this is that three dive again. That three dive looks done. We're channeling up on the RSI, channeling down on price. Usually a good indication that the bottom is beer or at least we're going to see a bout so then I had this one on Twitter the other day we had five up but I was looking for three back 
and this really does look impulsive so I would look for a deeper retrace and then that third leg down before higher again so same thing here this is that leg you've got one two up three down get long and then you've got one two and then look for that third leg up Dollar cad, you got one, two, three here, you got one, two, three here, you got three back almost. I think I'd like to get long of this 2960 for another leg higher up above 34. And I've got some hidden divergence marked here. Um, price RSI is breaking below here where this price low and this RSI low are at when you break that and price is still above that it, they call it hidden divergence and you should see another leg higher from there so down around this 29.70 and this uptrend line might be a good place to get long you could wait for a break of the uh, RSI trend line on the daily if you wanted to but I am looking back for another high up above 34 yet Swissy kind of a mess here it's uh, looking at the weekly it's just sideways um, I do think we're going to see another leg down here Possibly all the way down to this 96.28, kind of backfill this run up here. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three back down, and then from there back up, probably testing these resistances up here. So Uh, let me delete some of this. Hey. And again, one, two, three. So we got, you know. <laughs> okay, since we did make a new high here on the Swiss right here, I think we're probably would see that uh, 96.28 at the 161.8 for the 1, 2, 3. Um, got 3 down to start. We got 3 up. I think a uh, break at 99. I wouldn't be afraid to short the high up here for that target down of 96. Dollar yen you could go one, two, three, four, five, but you got one, two, three, then you've got one, two, three, you've got one up, you got one, two, three down. So I'll be looking up towards uh, this 1180, 111.80, probably even 112. We'll see what it looks like when it gets up that closer, but we got some resistance in here. And then we got a little backfill here. So I might be looking at shorting at 112 against 113 for a uh, deeper pullback. This is like one. This would be swing or wave or whatever you want to call it, two. And then I'd be looking for a third one down. And again, we got one, two, three. One, two, three. You could go one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, whatever you like there. But um, we are channeling up here on the RSI and channeling down on price, so we could have a three dive. One, two, three. Oops. One, two, three. With another low would make a uh, three dive. So. But 
I don't know that we're going to get that. So, all right. Hope you like it. Uh, again, I'll continue to expand on that three swings idea as we get going. But I think there's some good trade setups coming up. So, thank you and have a good day.